Hey, I'm Nick, and today I want to talk about a tip that's helped me improve my memorization as well as improve in school. And the reason I've lumped it in together is that I believe that a lot of the time, school is more of a memorization game than anything else. So any tips to improve memorization can directly tie in with helping you in school. And nowhere is that more true than specifically in math class where almost 24 seven, you're learning algorithms and methods to solving equations that you need to remember. And I also wanna preface with the fact that this should be taken with a grain of salt as if everybody followed exactly what I did, that probably wouldn't turn out for them and especially for me giving the advice. So what is the big tip? And it is to focus on understanding what you're actually learning instead of the work you're given. I'm not saying ditch the work entirely, but I want to shine a light on actually understanding what you're doing. As a lot of the time school will give you worksheets and examples you'll blindly go through, not really knowing what you're doing. But if you sit back and spend time actually understanding the work you're given, that is what ties it into not only helping you in school by understanding something better, you can do it better. But with the memorization aspect, as if you understand something and do that thing, you then cement it in your memory a lot more than memorizing the one method to doing it. So your teachers might get mad at you for spending a lot of time trying to work things out yourself and better understand it yourself. Like how my teachers get mad at me for just staring blankly at the board until it clicks. But I assure you, understanding the content over doing the random work that you're given will definitely help you not only remember the practical stuff better as the stuff that you know you will use later in life or you're already using is easier to remember but your results on tests may go up as well and this is shown through the most recent tests that i've done in my math class i spent minimal amount of my time actually doing the work to the point where i was put into detentions to actually get me to do the work instead of just staring at the textbook and trying to work things out in my mind whereas my classmate not only did all the work that was assigned, but went above and beyond and did extension work. But in the end, the person with the highest score turned out to be me. Now it wasn't perfect, I still got two questions wrong, but everything else was perfect. And like I mentioned, another tip is that I wasn't using my workbook for anything. I was just staring at the textbook and checking over the answers, doing the work in my head. Now it's not gonna work every time, but a lot of the time, working things out in your head instead of using some kind of cheat sheet or workbook will help you better cement it in your mind, freeing you from relying on using diagrams and papers to work things out. And like I said at the start, please take this all with a grain of salt as if you do what I did, you'll probably end up like how I've ended up, which may not be bad on one side being at the top of the class, but on the other hand, you'll be chucked in detentions for not doing any work. But aside from that, that's it for today. Just the one takeaway being focus on understanding what's going on over blindly following work will help you do the work better when it actually comes down to it like in tests. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll throw up some more videos of the channel if you wanna check them out, but until then, I'll see you later.